So today we are going to discuss yes. one of the important topic of ionic equilibrium that is Oswald's dilution law. law. Correct. Now this Oswald's solution law is applicable where? So this is applicable only for weak, weak electrolyte. electrolyte. Correct, this sir. Oswald's solution law is applicable only, only for, for weak electrolytes. Electrolyte. Now what is this Oswald's law? Yes. What is this statement? What does it say? That let's understand. And this weak and strong, we had already discussed here that weak electrolyte means for which the alpha, the degree of ionization or the degree of dissociation remains less, less than 100% or less than 1. Like okay. H2S, we have these kind of acid or even some kind of sparingly soluble solvic exactly, Yes. Exactly. Okay. So the statement is, yes. according to Oswald's dilution law, hmm. when solution of a weak electrolyte, this is the point, Correct. solution of weak electrolyte it's is diluted. diluted. So how we can dilute the solution? The solution can be made to diluted form when we increase the amount of the solvent. Exactly. And if solvent is increased, yes. it is diluted. And as a universal solvent, we have already chosen the water. So when we increase the amount of water, that means the total volume of the solution is being increased. Exactly. We say the solution is going to be diluted. diluted. And in that case, the concentration is going to be less. Reduced. So okay. we can simply write here. So whenever volume is going to increase, concentration part is going to decrease. decrease. This is called the dilution process. Okay, okay sir. Then hmm. the degree of ionization, Correct. degree of ionization, ionization of weak electrolyte is increased. increased. Correct. Correct. Always remember that when there is dilution hmm. of what? Of a weak electrolyte. Correct. Then the degree of ionization of that weak electrolyte is going to increase. So, sir, can we say like this thing that when we are going to dilute the weak electrolyte. Yes. So, it will start moving towards the behavior of the strong electrolyte. Exactly. If I will keep on diluting. Yes. What is happening? The degree of ionization. Is that is increasing. increasing. Okay. And if you keep on diluting. Keep on diluting means at infinite dilution. Okay. The value of degree of ionization will also what? At in its maximum possible value. And I think it will be close to 1 also. Exactly. Yeah. And the maximum possible value as you said sir, it will yes. be close to 1. Correct. Which means what? Mm. Which means that the weak electrolyte will start behaving as, as the a strong, strong electrolyte. So this is very important point we have here. So the weak and strong electrolyte can be identified on the basis of Alpha. Exactly. That means weak is not always weak. It depends upon its concentration value also. Okay. okay. So let's try to prove it yes. mathematically. Correct, sir. Let's say I'm having an electrolyte AB. AB. Aqueous means it is present in water. Water. It is ionizing to give you two ions. One is A plus aqueous ion and, and B minus aqueous ion. And here we have the reversible direction here. That means the reaction is occurring in both directions. AB is dissociating to give the A plus and B minus and the A plus and B minus again combining to form the AB. AB. Okay. Correct. So, initial concentration of okay. AB I am taking as C. Correct, so, sir. the initial concentration of A plus and B minus as they are the product, yes. that will be 0. Initially, we have to take it as a 0 by default unless until it is mentioned separately. Exactly. Okay. And when the equilibrium is established Correct, sir. and we are assuming that degree of ionization is what? Alpha. This is alpha. Alpha. So, Correct. And the part which is reacting, which is yes. dissociating or ionizing, that will be what? C alpha. So, alpha indicate that how many moles of the reactant has been dissociated or consumed out of the total mole taken. Correct. That means the moles consumed will always be equal to the initial concentration multiplied by the alpha that is the degree of dissociation exactly. we have. So, this is C alpha is the part of AB that is consumed, consumed. in the reaction. So, the left Correct. at equilibrium yes. will be C minus, minus C, C alpha. alpha. C was initially present. Correct, C sir. alpha is consumed. Correct. So, it is C minus Correct. C alpha. Correct. Now, if C alpha is consumed, yes. how much of A plus and B minus are produced? So, so I think one, the, one mole of AB. Exactly. Having one mole of A plus and one mole of B minus using the stoichiometric coefficient concept. Exactly. So, stem, we can say that C alpha after getting consumed will give C, C alpha, alpha moles of A, A plus, plus and, and C, C alpha, alpha moles B, of B minus. B minus. Correct. Correct, sir. Now, according to law of mass action, yes. ionization constant that is the equilibrium constant for Correct, this reaction sir. will be equal to concentration of A plus into concentration of B minus upon the concentration of AB. Raised to the power, there is stoichiometric coefficient, coefficient which, which is, is right now 1, 1 and 1 in this case we have taken. Exactly. Okay. So, if we substitute the values of all these concentrations, we will get C alpha 
into C alpha upon C into one minus, minus alpha. alpha. Absolutely so if correct. you simplify this, yes. you will get it as C alpha square upon one, one minus, minus alpha. alpha. So the value of equilibrium constant will get as C alpha square upon one minus, minus alpha. alpha. Correct, now sir. as correct. it is a weak electrolyte, yes, we will assume that alpha is much, less, much less than 1. 1, correct. So, mostly we take this alpha less than 10%. That means alpha should be less than 0 0.1. 1. Then only we can, uh, do not consider the value of alpha with respect to 1 during the addition or the subtraction only. Exactly. Okay. So, if alpha is much, much less than 1, mm. we can say that 1 minus alpha will be approximately equal, equal to, to 1. 1. And if we substitute this in this equation, yes. we will get k is equal to c alpha square. Correct, sir. Or we can say alpha is proportion is equal to root over of k by c, where k is what? Equilibrium the constant. Ionization constant or equilibrium constant. Correct, correct. And c is what? It is a concentration. Okay. And always remember that k is constant. Eddie? Well, temperature is that mean constant. Unless until we change the temperature, the value of K is not going to change. Exactly. So, every particular weak electrolyte at a given temperature will have its own unique K equilibrium or the ionization constant, constant value, which is experimentally determined totally. Exactly. Correct. So, if we consider the temperature to be constant, yes. then I can write that alpha will be proportional to what? Square it root of proportional C. to 1 upon root C. Correct, correct. sir. Correct. And Concentration we know, it is proportional to 1 upon V. Correct. Concentration is what? Concentration generally we say molarity. Molarity, molarity. molarity yes. So, it will be moles of upon volume. So, it is moles a moles of solute, of solute upon volume of the solution. solution. In which unit? It should be in liters. liters. Okay. So, you see what happened? When we dilute, there are two processes. Either you can take out the moles of solute. Or you can increase the volume of the solution. Ah, exactly. In both the cases, yes. concentration is going to But the first decrease. one is not feasible physically. Because exactly. taking out the moles out of the solution is quite difficult in the simple word. So, the second process is much easier by increasing the volume. volume. So, the same is written here. When we increase the volume, concentration is going to decrease. And as we have written that alpha is proportional to square root of C. So, if concentration is going to decrease, this alpha is going to increase. So, this is what we have the relation of the alpha that is the degree of dissociation or degree of ionization with the concentration of the given weak electrolyte. So, ultimately you will get the expression as yes. alpha is proportional to root V. Yes. Means as the volume is increased, there will be decrease increase in the degree of ionization. Sir, up to what extent we can increase the volume of the solution? See, theoretically we can say that it can be infinite. Okay. Theoretically we can say that there, it will be infinite. So, infinite dilution. means it is a very large volume. Large means very, very large volume. So, theoretically we call it like infinite exactly. volume. So, we can write here that when volume is tending towards infinite. infinite. So, we can say this concentration will be tending towards zero. Zero. That means this concentration part is going to be zero. But if you solve it mathematically, you might get the wrong answer because if you put the value is 0 here, so 1 upon 0 sir, comes mathematically defined. infinite, undefined. undefined. We know that alpha, the maximum value of alpha is what? 1. One. So, what we say that when the volume is attaining its maximum possible yes. value, then alpha should also attain its maximum possible and value. And the alpha will have its maximum value close to 1. one. So, that is why when alpha is 1, we say yes. that the weak electrolyte will now behave as what? Uh, will now behave as strong So, a very, very dilute solution of the weak electrolyte will behave as a strong electrolyte. You can take a consider of cases. We have acetic acid and we have HCl, sir. Correct. So, popularly we have decided that acetic acid is the weak acid. Correct. And HCl or H2SO4 is the strong, strong acid. acid. So, if we use, let us say we have a concentration of 10 to the power minus 8 mole per liter of acetic acid. And even 10 power minus 8 mole per liter of HCl. Correct. So, their strength will be similar or different? Their strength will be similar in that Because case. 10 to power minus 8 mole per liter is quite low, low, low concentration. So, whenever the concentration is tending towards 0, very low value, 10 power minus 8, that means the same concentration of 10 power minus 8 mole per liter of acetic acid and 10 power minus 8 mole per liter of HCl are going to behave in the same similar way. Manner, so, this yes. is what we have the Oswald dilution law, which labels the effect of the acid just by using the concept of concentration we correct, have. Correct. Okay. So, moving further. So, this formula, we should all remember that alpha depends on the volume of the solution as well as the concentration of the solution, but only for the weak, weak electrolyte. It is not applicable for the strong, strong electrolyte. So, let us move it now. 
So volume, you can see volume yes. means dilution. Dilution. So alpha is proportional to dilution Correct, by sir. dilution law. So if dilution is increasing, alpha, alpha will also increase. Increasing. And at infinite dilution, yes. alpha will be equal to yes, hundred percent. That is that is yes. that is it will behave as a strong Correct, sir. Correct. That is also called the limiting value of volume concentration as well as the limiting value of alpha as well here. Okay. So now, thus for the weak electrolyte AB type. AB type means having one cation, one anion. Like NaCl, we can have, or let's say some uh, simple weak, weak electrolyte. Thing we like CH3CO, yes, is correct. HCN is a weak electrolyte. So degree of ionization is directly proportional to square root of dilution or inversely proportional to the square root of concentration. concentration. This law is known as the Ostwald dilution law. So in the nutshell, now we have got two points. The first point is that Ostwald dilution law is applicable. In the case of weak, weak electrolytes. electrolytes, now it may be the weak acid, it may be the weak bases. Okay. Now the second thing is that the value of alpha. So alpha depends on the concentration and the volume. So it is inversely proportional to the square root of concentration and directly proportional to square root of, of volume. volume. Okay. So, so let's can, have one question, yes. few question based on this. First one is for aqua solution of which of the following electrolyte, yes. degree of ionization does not depend on dilution. So we just need to identify, see whenever they are using the word degree of ionization depends on the dilution or not. So we go through the Oswald dilution law, it says it is applicable in the case of only sir, weak, weak electrolyte. electrolyte. So, we so just whichever need to identify. Is, yes, whichever yes. is weak, that will depend on dilution, Correct, whichever sir. is strong, that will not depend. So in this they are asking does not depend, so let's start means from we here. have to find that which is a strong which Correct. is weak whichever is strong that will not depend so, so first we have one. to find yes which is weak which is strong so first so one HCN, as you have written, acid is the weak, weak acid we have correct and it's for which that is, is a weak base, base you know hcl hcl is a strong acid all of correct, you know and koh sir. is a strong so base. now we can easily identify in which cases the alpha will be independent or will be dependent on the Dilution. So, Correct. the two so questions we can from here. If they are asking depend on dilution, yes. so it will be HCN and NH4OH. Correct. Correct. If they are asking does not depend on dilution, so answer will be HCL, HCL and KOH. Which, Correct. Which you can see from here and the answer is 3 and 4. Okay. So, okay, let's, see. let's see. One more problem based on this. Find the volume of water added, added. to 300 ml 0.2 m yes. CH3COH solution. So, that degree of ionization becomes double. double. So, we so know. let's try to understand the question first. Do not rush to solve it because unless until we understand the problem minutely, it's always remain difficult to us to solve the numerical. Correct. So, the so, first thing is that they are asking find the volume of the water added, sir. That means we have to find the volume of the solution. Yes. Okay. And they are giving the condition that degree of ionization is going to be double. double and they have used an acid which is what? Weak. That means we have the weak acid and now they are asking the volume and they have given the condition of alpha. So, somewhere we have got this idea that it is generating the question from the Ostwald dilution, dilution law. No. Now, we have to use the relation of alpha Correct, and sir. volume in this case. And we know that alpha is proportional to square root, root of v. v. Exactly. Correct. So, I can write alpha 1 yes. by alpha 2 Correct, is sir. equal to root over of v1 upon V2. Now, you might be worried why we have directly written the equality sign by eliminating this proportionality because see proportionality we have used. So, whatever constant will be there in the case of alpha 1 will also be there in the case of alpha, alpha 2, 2 and they will be getting cancelled out when we are taking the ratio. So, in this question they have given yes. that degree of ionization is becoming double. Double. So, I can write alpha 2 will be equal to 2, two times, times alpha 1. Yes, initial degree and of ionization. initial volume they have given us 300, 300 ml. Exactly now, let us so. say the final volume is V2. V2 is final volume after addition Correct. of water. Correct, sir. Okay. Correct. So, if we substitute in this, we will get 2 alpha, sorry, if we substitute in this, we will get yes. Alpha 1 divided by, by 2 alpha, alpha 1, 1 that is equal to root over of 300, 300 divided by V2. V2. Or simply V also we can okay. write. Yes. So, if we square both sides, we will get 1 upon 4, 4 is equal to 300 by upon V2. V2. From so, here we will get what? V2 is equal to 1200 ml. This is the final volume of the solution. But this is not the answer, sir. Exactly. Because the answer is that they are asking find the volume of the water added. 
टू थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल सी दे आर नॉट आस्किंग द फाइनल वॉल्यूम वॉट देर आस्किंग देर आस्किंग द हाउ मच वॉटर विच वे एडिंग इन सो दैट द अल्फा गोज टू द डबल वैल्यू एग्जैक्टली सो इनिशियल वॉल्यूम वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड ये फाइनल वॉल्यूम इज कम ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड बी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एम एल दैट मीन वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर एडेड विल बी हाउ मच इट्स फाइनल वॉल्यूम माइनस इनिशियल वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम सो दैट विल बी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड माइनस माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड विच इज इक्वल टू नाइन हंड्रेड एम एल और जीरो पॉइंट नाइन लीटर दैट मीन दिस मच वॉल्यूम एन यू एड द डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन फॉर द सेम वीक एसिड एसिडिक एसिड द अल्फा वैल्यू गोज टू डबल फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन कन्फर्म द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी हैव लर्न जस्ट नॉ हियर दैट अल्फा डिपेंड्स ऑन द वॉल्यूम एंड कंसेंट्रेशन 